Well, hello, YouTube. This is a Wagnerware Magnolite cast aluminum roasting pan. Uh, these were made from the 1930s to the 1970s, so I read, uh, in Sydney, Ohio. Um, apparently, they're still being made by a successor company. I don't know what the quality of those is, but the quality of this is fantastic. It has a beautiful tight-fitting lid. Uh, haven't tried cooking in it yet, but I'm told that uh, they do a wonderful job. However, uh, I want to restore this one a little bit. You can see that there's a baked-on residue on the handles and the lid. Uh, there's also some on the inside lid. Um, I can see spots where somebody has tried to scrub it off with some kind of abrasive. They've scratched the surface a little. I don't want to do that. Ordinarily, for that kind of residue, you'd use an oven cleaner or lye. Uh, but you can't do that with aluminum. That would just dissolve the aluminum. Um, so I've tried many cleaners. Here are just a few of the different things I tried with no success at uh, getting off that brown residue. I finally hit on the idea of using a stripping product because, after all, what we're looking at is very much like a varnish. Um, this stuff worked very well. And other things with the same ingredients are likely to work well as well. There are the uh, active ingredients in this. Uh, I also used a product called 3M Safest Stripper. Uh, that worked also, but it was very much slower than the strippies. Uh, and because it's water-based, it tended to dry out. Uh, strippies is not water-based, uh, and some of it that I had in a, a plastic cup for several days was still uh, flow. It was still a, a gel. It didn't dry out. So, it turns out that that nylon stylus that I thought would be harmless to the aluminum actually was able to make some marks on it. These scratches were present before I started, but these marks here were produced by that uh, nylon stylus that I used. So I'm not too upset about that since there were already worse scratches on the piece, but I will try to polish those out later. And in the meantime, I'm going to change the way I uh, work on the rest of the uh, uh, burnt-on stains.
okay at this point I've got as much cleaning as I'm going to do and it's pretty clean uh, you can see it has kind of a two-tone look I suspect because it's had a lot more scrubbing on the bottom portion over its lifetime than on the top even on the top there are some old scratches uh, as I showed before on the handles there are uh, some new marks that I made and but still plenty of old marks that were made in the past by people using uh, heavy-duty scouring pads or other forms of abrasive cleaning. Uh, similarly, even on the top, you can see that there are patterns of scratches where uh, maybe somebody's gone at it with some steel wool or a scotch bright. Um, so I'm going to try to get some of that out. I'm not going to do a heavy-duty polish on it. Um, I could I could use a wheel, but I don't feel like that's the uh, the right way to go with this.